Who wants to do your introduction again? Okay. <laughs> you can question me, sure. sure, but there's one thing you've got to know. My life, it's not filled with a dictionary of words, but, but a, a symphony, symphony of notes. It's gotten to the point where each day equals a measure of tones, each hour a different melody. Each second a new beat. But the problem these days is that the song in my heart plays differently in my head. You see, according to the surrounding sounds, my chords don't match up quite right. The F sharps and B flats tend to collide. I find I rhyme every time I try to mime a life that is sublime, and for that you accuse me of a crime. You call me different. Call me something inequivalent. Say the world I'm living in is a whole new genre of unrealistic. But what you don't realize is you have no beat drumming to the steps you take. No underlying bass holding up the foundation to the monotone dreams you're dreaming. You have no harmonic voice in what you say because all you know is the same, same. Repetitious, repetitious melody, melody as everybody else. But that's besides the point, isn't it? Aren't our very feet put on this earth to dance and yet you choose to stand by those standing still? Aren't our voices supposed to crescendo and our cares decrescendo as we find the confidence in who we truly are? But no. no. You still haven't found that hymn of glory from within. You see, if there was one thing I could serenade you with, it would be this. Life is a symphony and we the orchestra. So play. Or sing. Or dance. Or, or do whatever your heart tells you to do. And from then on, hold on to the high notes and let go of the low. If you have to, slur over the bad, but remember to accent the good. Refer to the refrain if you lose your place. And every now and then, give, give it a rest. rest. Know that the attitude you set forth, know that the attitude you set forth sets the pitch for the day ahead. Take one measure at a time, and for that matter, take your time, for you must for you must hold the longest when achieving a whole note. Know that the minor details only become major if you let them. And most of all, the eloquence of a song is only revealed when everybody plays the instrument they were given. And when the spotlight shines on you and you alone, play as if nobody were listening, as if it were just you and the gift you hold within. William Shakespeare once said that the earth has music for those who listen. So open your ears, open your eyes, and, and open your mind. Because all I'm trying to say is that there are 88 keys on a piano and one key to life. And that key is that <clears throat> it's not about how bright the spotlights shine on your glowing face, how loud the hands clap, or how many soft petaled red roses are thrown your way, but rather the number of people you move through a melody. Woo! <laughs>